Hey guys, this is Ashley here with more Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. In the last episode, we pretty much just left on a cliffhanger, but it was mainly about, well, how things are turning out and are getting a bit more on the action side. Which, of course, we also, um. Oh boy! We got to see the ruins of Xerxes, the area that uh, Lang wanted to see, but sadly he didn't get to go. And, of course, the, um, Mainly Mustang's crew basically are in the city, where also kind of in hiding, along with Barry, and, uh, they had just got Maria Ross out of there, and, uh, things may seem a bit more of figuring out what are these homunculi and what do they want exactly slightly, with also getting some, a bit of history about a sage going, um, from Amestris to Shing and sharing the alchemy and alka history lessons. And it just pretty much ended off with pretty much Barry seeing his old body and wanting to cut it up. And we pretty much got to see that Hawkeye is in the middle of getting into a fight with Gluttony. That's all I basically know. So without further ado, let us continue, shall we? <clears throat> Okay, Mustang, seriously? Uh-oh. Flashbacks! So this piece okay. of info is supposed to be confidential, but whatever. Mm. Barry told me the Colonel's got a plan to smoke out some military guys he's been after. The ones from the fifth something or other. Fifth something or other! <laughs> oh, I gotta find them. This could lead us straight to the person who killed Lieutenant Hughes. Ooh! <gasps> Hey, Al, you know you're gonna get into more trouble. I'll tell you when I get back, okay? Oh, of God, course. So unfair. Oh, Ling. I'll be back soon. You're gonna get into so much trouble. Okay, just be careful. I will. I promise. Truth of the Undying. <laughs> Whoa! Gluttony's got Hawkeye! Oh no. Are you all done now? Then it's time to eat you. The Ouroboros is still on his tongue. At least they didn't change that. Fly Kayane! Stop it! So he's immune to dog bites? They're still shooting him, but that's not really gonna work. He's too fat to be be pushed out the window. <coughs> bullets gone. Goody, goody. No I more bullets. And Mustang! No, 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 no! He just fell on Envy! Yeah, in the manga, when Envy's in the middle of fighting Lanfon, Gluttony falls down and he crushes Envy slightly. Colonel. Also, I can imagine this. No, 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 no! <laughs> No matter hey, what get, us, get off me, you fat ass! Hurry up and regenerate so you can get off me, you fat ass! Seriously. Also, Link wasn't there with Ed and Al. I mean, that a Winry and Al. Who the heck was that fat guy? <laughs> Thanks, Fury. Oh, yeah. Risa told off Mustang. Sorry. Colonel. What is it? Thanks for saving us back there. Tell me later. Let's just stay focused on the mission for now. Sir. Hmm. All right, get in the Wait, car. Man. Yes, sir. So get in the car. Are you trying to go after Mr. Hughes's murderer? Uh, I think you know the answer by now. You win. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Don't let him get away. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Barry's running on the side by the car. Not until I eviscerate that meat bag. So do you think we can expect another appearance from that blubber beast back there? Blubber beast. I, doubt it. I scorched him off the ledge. He's yeah, not he able to die. Head, but he didn't really yeah. seem to mind. <gasps> he didn't have an Ouroboros tattoo, did he? 
that too. Well, actually, yeah, on his tongue. Yeah. In that case, you were probably dealing with a homunculus. Oh, so now you bring up the name and okay, seriously, Mustang is horrible driving when it comes to these things. That's just not possible. Yeah, that's what this I This is why I prefer that's to have myself be driven by Envy, thank you, because at he least he knows how to drive properly. The thing he told me is that nothing is impossible. I know for a fact that they have amazing healing powers. I watched Greed get the top half of his head knocked off, but he was perfectly fine a minute later. And not to mention they had different right. powers, too. I understand if you don't believe me. After what I just saw, I have to believe you. Hold on. I rendered Bat Boy down to a bubbling Bat Boy. <laughs> Bat Boy. Probably. He pretty much One crushed one. Envy, by the way, but uh, he got out. Freaks lately, huh? Freak day? Really? And it's nighttime. They seriously followed the body all the way here. And do do do. What the heck? They're all piled up on each other, just looking by the gate. Of a lab. A laboratory, huh? a third lab. So this ties them directly to the military. No doy. That's all we need for now. We're pulling Why do you think Central well, HQ pretty much needs all these guys? Yeah. And all these labs and that psycho stormed the building. Yep, yeah, it's our lucky day. <laughs> huh? Barry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Yes. I don't want any of your boring old skin and bones. I got me a special reunion to get to. Okay. All personnel must evacuate immediately. <laughs> Ow! He's like, this is really intense, isn't it? The man who broke in is a deranged murderer. My men will handle his capture. Order your guards to seal off the exits. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, the music is getting kind of. Uh, How the hell are we supposed to uh, find? Gonna have to it feels like it. someone's just yes, banging the same key over and over. <laughs> like, a, I don't know, cat maybe. It doesn't look like anyone's oh. used this lab in a while. I guess not. What is this stuff? Oh no! no idea. But whatever they did here it was painful for someone. Well, now. Lost? Just... Oh shoot! Oh, it's that's ain't good. You stood me up on our date. <clears throat> and now you point a gun at me? Huh. You've got Here's the thing. Uh, the voice actors of Mustang and Lust, they're married. So, this is kind of a rare like to actually see the two on screen. First I've seen it, sir. Quit staring. It's not very Fan service. Well, I can see how she tricked you so Mustang You've always been a sucker for big boobs. <laughs> hey, at least she hers look normal. I can't help it. I love them. Really, Havoc? Did you tell this woman anything? No, I never said a single thing about work, sir. Tell me. At least Envy isn't around. But if he did, he would have helped her. Oh, yes, he was quite the intelligent man, wouldn't you agree? I only wish I'd had the opportunity to pick his brain. Uh oh. On your knees. I want to know everything. Sorry to say. But it's gonna take more than you're capable of to make me get on my knees. Oh! What? You're not gonna make her finish talking? Or let her finish talking? How merciless. Did you pick that up in Ishval? Huh? Ugh. Each homunculus is gonna do a licking face. Okay, not all, but still. But I doubt you've seen this one. Uh, wait a sec. Why? Why would you show your weakness? Why would you show your weak point? Seriously. It's not just a legend. It's my heart. I get what she's doing. Monster. But that was uncalled for. Wow, first Envy was called a monster, now her. From a few things, I was made nearly identical to That was rude. I am human. They're hypocrites. They say that they don't feel human emotions, yet they're kind of pretty much expressing them in a way. It's such a shame. Oh! Rain! Oh! 
Ooh, you're screwed. So not worth. Run away, my little girl! Oh! They're in a jam right now. with her freaky fingers. No, she made a big mistake. Don't you mean claws? She flooded the room with water. A simple transmutation, and we've got hydrogen gas. Okay. Hey, the lighter havoc has. Explosion by Michael Bay! Seriously, we're gonna get more explosions later in the series. Full Metal Alchemist. <sighs> Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, I guess you could say Lust wasn't a fan of Family Guy. From one of my ex girlfriends. Wow. Poor, poor Havoc. Hey, Colonel. It's just not your day, isn't it? All right, you're all wet. Yeah, well, those things will kill you, you know that? Wah, wah. She's dust. I definitely cremated her. Ash to oh, ashes, sure. dust to dust. Stench. I'm pretty familiar you, with that. You stench. really had destroyed the embodiment of lust. For all we know, she could still regenerate. Sorry. So stay alert. Yes, bad Duke is bad, and oh, she's still alive, and she got havoc. Havoc! Oh, I told you she didn't like Family Guy. It was the newer version. Don't kid yourself. He's a dead man. Oh shoot! No, he's not. Give up. There's nothing you can do that'll kill me. Then you won't mind. He took her stone. He took her stone. You mainly just destroyed the shell. She's not dead. Needed to save Havoc. Hey, it's the homunculus theme. But this is officially Envy's theme. You'll know why later. Amplify my abilities. Uh, must think! It seems like you should buy a girl dinner first. <laughs> before you stick your She looks exactly like a <laughs> Oh Uh hang on a sec guys. Sorry guys, just had to wait for the video to at least uh, a little bit more. Oh shoot! Your Excellency, Bradley. What's the current status? The criminal responsible for the prison break has stormed the premises, but Colonel Mustang and his men are in pursuit. Well then, I'll give him some backup. Very good. We're right behind you, sir. As no. always, we're just pawns in this. I prefer to handle it on my own. Yeah. Oh! I told you. The philosopher stones my core. Sure, she's just gonna let him bleed to death. Really hate just... to do this. You were a prime candidate for sacrifice and all. Yeah, no, I'm. But you forced me to kill you. God damn you! Save your breath. I want you to watch poor Jean bleed to death. Then you can die. Well, oh boy. Hey, answer me. Uh, he's in the pool of his own die. blood, face not down. Not, not before I do. Havoc. Must sing. And hey, it's that symbol. Wow, we're seeing it a lot here, aren't we? Sorry, but you got here too late. Look at this mess. Ew. My body is damn near entirely decayed. I guess a body just can't hold up with someone else's soul being left inside. Yeah, <laughs> Reese pretty much just like, oh, that's disgusting. Very compatible with another person's body. Wouldn't it be the same for a soul bonded to a suit of armor? Yeah, this is pretty much different in the original. There's no guarantee I'll be able to stay in this form long enough to get our old bodies back. Oh, ow, brother. Oh no, Lust is here. I was wondering when you were gonna show up, Lusty. Lusty! That's what he calls her. Explain why you're helping the Colonel. I'm surprised that Envy didn't show up. Switch things up. Besides, I've wanted to chop you up since I met you. Barry, that's basically what you do. And I'm sad to see you here, Armor Boy. You just had to tag along. Talk about a setback. 
it's bad enough to is she channeling envy right now because clearly it sounds like she's channeling him candidate a second one yeah you and mr gallantry that's enough gallantry is she talking about barry or well you want to get chopped up well you did So apparently she's good at cooking. Where were we? I think I was about to send the lieutenant to join her superior. Oh! Oh no! Oh shoot! 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 That isn't good. Oh, and again, it's gonna freeze again. Sorry. Okay, guys. This is where Riza loses it. Wait a minute. Oh, again. Hang on. Okay. Sorry about that. Continue. You said you'd already had to kill someone. Okay, remember how Scanty got crazy? You well, didn't. we're gonna but we're gonna do that again slightly. Only you Oh Whoa Jeez Hawkeye's packing with them guns. Oh no. Are you done? Hawkeye. No, Risa. Oh no. Such a sad and weak creature. Another typical human. <clears throat> Come on, Al. You need to get out of here. Do you want me to kill you first? <gasps> oh my. It appears you've opened the portal. <gasps> oh! Whoa! Such a shame. You are a perfect. Well, at least you didn't hit his blood seal. Come on, Al! Listen, Alphonse. Leave me and save yourself. No. Run! She thinks Roy's dead. Go. They... I won't leave you! Yeah. I'm sick of watching people die. And I can't just sit back and take it anymore. I won't let anyone else get killed. Not yeah! Al filled with determination! Shout out if you got that reference and what is cool. Well spoken. My thing! I couldn't agree more. Ah. That's a good idea. Oh! This gonna get any hotter. Mustang is doing it for us. Looks like I can get you on your knees. Bad all. joke is bad. Uh, okay. He's using this. Flint for ignition. And he how? The transmutation circle uh, how did he do that so quickly? You should have fled the death by now. Yeah, I he seared the wound closed. How? You don't know about the history. Okay. This kind of BS comes back later. Just sealing the wound like that, seriously. But it comes back in a much more ridiculous thing. Uh, plus, yeah, should pretty much do something, but not gonna do it. It's a good thing that lighter came in handy. But another fight later where Mustang gets into it with another homunculus? I can't stand. And that'll be way beyond that. But this, I'm actually okay with. Because I didn't like Lust in this version. You killed me. I hate losing. But there are worse ways to die than at the hands of a man like you. I love how cold and focused your eyes are. I look forward. She's not kidding. That's literally going to be a uh that's a foreshadowing she's meaning. Mustang you went you went too far with that. He's okay. Forget about me. We need to get you some help. 
Shouldn't you get havoc? After my Seriously, you just left the man there. Doctor. Oh yeah. Hurry. Call a doctor for havoc. He's still alive, thankfully. Bradley just witnessed the whole thing. Turns out he's got plans. Hey, Winry. She's just waiting. He's all right. Of course, Al would be fine, but. Oh, hey, Winry. I killed all my. I helped deal with the homunculus. Uh, hey, I'm home now. Your jaw dropped. <laughs> I'm sorry. Moron! Welcome back! Uh, At least you're not using the wrench. Okay. Thanks. Uh, uh, well, uh, 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 oh. They're pretty much okay. And wow, ruin the mo <laughs> ruin the moment. You won't stay. I can't put it back on. You'll just have to wait. And holy moly, Barry! That was way too damn close. I hope someone can fix me. I'd rather not live my life as sheet metal. <laughs> huh? His body's still alive. Are you still alive. <laughs> My precious! Put me down right my now. precious! His, his body knows. No, don't do it. But... And now he's dead. Bye, Barry. It was nice knowing you. Okay, uh, see what's at the end? Oh, wait. Hey, they ride in Risenbowl. <laughs> Armstrong. And... Ed, it's, oh my god, Hohenheim of Light! He's finally showed up! Oh boy. Yeah. It yes, it is. It's him. Is it? Yes, it's him. Oh man. This is awkward of a comeback. Uh, okay, at the end. Okay, turns out there really wasn't much at the end. It's just hyping up for the next episode. And, oh boy, how do I describe this episode? It was very intense. It basically had the characters pretty much in danger, as in they were facing a homunculus, which is pretty much a deadly opponent to face. And, oh boy. Pretty much... You're just pretty much hoping to see what'll happen later in the end. Or what's to come. And... Oh boy. That was pretty much too close for... That was pretty too close is what I'm trying to say. And, well, Mustang did in fact get the win, so there's that. And... Well, let's go to the next episode, shall we? Hello, okay. Hohenheim. Also, Hohenheim is voiced by a new voice actor, by the way. You tried human transmutation. He knew. What makes you think you can show up like this? There's nothing left for you here anymore. Ed. I know Still has that grudge. Tell me, Edward. What possessed you to burn down my home? Ooh, awkward. What happened? We vowed to never turn back. We did it as a symbol of our resolve. No, you didn't. This. You hiding the memory. Oh, no. You didn't want to be reminded of what you've done and thought you could erase the memory by destroying the evidence. Full man, full man. We do close for comfort. You're wrong. Ed. It's just like a child who hides the sheets after he wets the bed. Oh, come on. You got to compare it to you that. Run away and you know it. <laughs> uh. You don't know a damn thing! You make me sick. You know, if Envy was there from O3, he would have sucker punched this guy in the face! Oh, yeah. Father Beyond the Grave. Also, we're gonna get an episode on that. About 20 episodes later. Yeah, I counted. Oh. It. 
Aw. <laughs> when and now we're little. No, I don't think he pretty much wants anything to do with you right now, Hohenheim. Oh boy. He just leaves. And turns out, Ed was awake. Dan doesn't like him. He was never good with animals. Changed in the slightest all these years. And you look exactly the same. <laughs> huh. Back when Pinocchio was taller, oddly. Why didn't you come back sooner? Trisha was waiting for you until the very end. <laughs> Dan's leaving. Serious talk. Pinocchio. Hmm? Hohenheim's a bit more involved in this. Are you positive that it was Trisha? Huh? Uh? Oh, yeah! Big, big difference compared to the original, where... No, that's not what I'm asking. Did you notice the eye color or the hair color? Huh? Oh, what are you trying to get at? Are you telling me that that wasn't even Trisha? No, for all that those boys sacrificed, you're saying that Ed hears this. Ed, Ed what's going on? Why are you looking like that? Whoa. Seriously, you don't what sleep gives? Or eat? You don't even run out of breath? Uh huh. I just have to make sure the seal doesn't get harmed. That's so cool. So you really are immortal then, huh? Eh, uh, in a way. This body, it's like a time bomb. At least you're not going to explode. And it made me realize that any type of body is incompatible with a foreign soul. Pairing them together, the body will eventually reject it. It could happen tomorrow, or ten years from now. But it's inevitable that it will. Oh no! Well, we've got to get you back in your Well, room. there'll be an explanation no, for why it has about to get why Al's to body hasn't really uh just transfer your soul doom, doom. some other object. This cuz if that's the case, then for the time being, well, you're impervious to pain and you don't have to eat. Hmm. It sounds like a great deal to me. No it isn't. Oh. You don't know what you're talking about. Huh? Why do I imagine I want to see Lingus Thomas the Tank Engine? I'm a sapphire! No, 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 no! Oh, great. Winry? Go on, Al. You have to be the big brother. You have to be the uh, voice of reason in this. Again. You know, you and brother always gotta be the first to explode. Yes. I never get the chance to be the one to get mad. <laughs> Oh yeah, this. I guess I can't fall asleep. I don't think this body will let me. Oh. Uh, the music here is kind of weird. I'll tell you that. You're gonna get your body back. Okay. Of course, she worries about it now. Yet she doesn't just stick her nose in every single option. And oh. Or Rath. Hey, Rathy! <laughs> it's true. Uh, Tucker? Okay, nice cameo. We make monsters. Uh, you have one. You have one wet. I mean, fever dream, Ed. You have a weird fever dream, Ed. That's what I'm gonna say. Get out of bed already. Your father's about to head out. Again, he's leaving. Wow, it's just like him. Just spend one day and then he's gonna leave. This one. Do you mind if I keep it? It's the only photo we had taken with all four of us. Of course, you're welcome to it. Thank you. Just take one picture to remember him by. To tell you something important, Pinocchio. Oh. Huh? What is it? Something terrible is going to happen in this country soon. You should escape while you can. Hmm. Oh, I know what he's mentioning. 
I've given you my warning. Yes. Hey, Hohenheim, wait! Try not to be such a stranger, all right? Still treats him as a friend, an old friend. I wish I could, Panako. It's too bad I won't get to enjoy your cooking anymore. Yeah, what he's doing is extremely risky. And Ed and Panako are going to grave rob. Okay, not really. But it feels like grave robbing. The old house. You're not really gonna dig it up, are you, Ed? Dig up the body and what are you what's going on? Why don't we go back? What? Is the truth being a big pain? My stumps are aching from the weather. It's about to rain. What? Let's just hurry and do this. Uh, Ed. Why didn't you do this earlier? You didn't really have to do this in the rain. Ugh. You know, if I was gonna do this, I at least would bring my raincoat. Ah, uh, oh, great. As if we need to see Ed barfing. Let's head on home. No. I'm not gonna be able to move forward until I know for sure. Uh, Besides, you ran away. Seriously? Run away from this. You are a stubborn kid, you know that, Ed? You always will be. Vomit it again! Ugh. Okay. There's nothing really intense going on. They're just digging up the remains. Oh, wait, Toink? Hair? Are you sure that's not a weed or something? This. And your face. Mom's hair was a light just what? Nothing. Jeez, what is up with your face? This is black. This fever, it's much too long. And this pelvis, pretty sure it's male. It is. Gee, when we saw Al looking perspective, this isn't your mother, Ed. Okay. And. Ed immediately loses it. You've gone psycho, man. You know, I can see why... I see why Envy would definitely go for him. And that's it. It really is impossible to bring the dead back to life. The undeniable truth. Uh... And you needed to see this, and What is up with you, Ed? Seriously. Uh, Frank, seriously. Listen to me. You've got to get a hold of yourself. Why not just, I don't know, shake him or smack him? Just like, okay, get a hold of yourself, man! The moment I this isn't your mother. Myself, we get it. Despair. Just snap out of it. Not anymore. Or Al's calm down. Hope. Al can be returned to normal. Okay. Full metal alchemist. Okay. Full metal alchemist. The younger version of it. Ed and Al, their pictures. And my guess they put that tombstone for the house then? Oh, rest in peace, old house, and your weird angles. Hmm. Curtis residence. Azumi. I didn't expect this. You never call. Hmm? Uh, yeah. I need to ask you something, teacher. Hmm? But, well. Well, Come on. Spit it out. Come on. Just tell her the news. So, you to your baby. so she'll be relieved. What? what about it, Ed? The thing is, what Al and I transmuted, it wasn't actually our mother. 
What is this, Ed? What are you trying to tell me? I'm sorry to ask you this, but the child you transmuted? Are you sure that it was your child that you brought back? Huh? She's going to check. Or at least... Yes. Thank you, Ed. It's good to know my son and his wife helped people. <sighs> I'm proud of All you did was just dug up a body! Uh, or should I say, just a skeleton! So, Hohenheim, did he even bother to say where he was going? Of course he didn't, and I didn't ah! What's wrong with me? Hmm? I can't believe I forgot to give him the message! What? What message? Yes. A last request from your mother. Oh, this. I'll be gone when he returns. Can you tell him something? I need him to know I couldn't keep my promise. I died before he did, and I'm so sorry. Oh. Promise? What promise? You got me. Sorry to ask, but could you pass it on if you bump into him? Oh, great. Should I have to? Ed's gonna punch him in the face when he meets him again. Trust me, and it'll be worth it. Yeah, I'll pass it on right after I clock him in the face. That's what you're gonna do, Ed. Exactly what you're gonna do. Heading back to Central already, are you? Yeah. Al's probably mad at me. I'm gonna have plenty of explaining to do. Why didn't you just call on the phone? You could have just called him there. And what the hell? Hey, Envy says the exact same thing later. <laughs> Wow. Hey, you. <laughs> Ling! <laughs> Eating a delicious dinner? The kicking out of the door face. <laughs> that's a funny, uh... Run that's a funny gag that kind of gets used a few times. They're just waiting out there. And just to throw a cherry on top, you find out your body might reject your soul. They're having a moment. I'm gonna have to extend what little you have left of your armor. Hey, at least he doesn't get his um body broken up like you do your auto mail. Al, hmm? I've got to tell you something. I dug up the body that we transmuted in Resinpool. What do I basically describe this episode? A sort of grave robbing slash figuring out what to do about the whole uh getting your bodies back sort of thing. And that they didn't have to worry about what they transmuted. But, hold on a minute. Then that means... The thing we made? I don't know what, but it was something completely different. But if it wasn't, then what happened to me? That's just it. This has actually convinced me we can return you to normal. Uh, Ed, are you sure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But before I start explaining how... Well, uh, Winry... What's this got to do? Uh... Do you remember when Al and I got in a fight when we were kids about who'd marry you? <sighs> really, Ed? Why do you have to bring this up? On the roof? Yeah, that one. Al told me you turned him down. Mm-hmm. Turned you both down. Whatever. So Winry's stupid reason? What was your reasoning? This is Winry's stupid reason. This. Like and who are shorter than me. <laughs> do, do, do. She is pretty tall. <laughs> What was the point of that? I see how this has anything to do with getting Al's body back. Yeah, I don't get it. I had to be sure. Hmm? Al had a memory of something I don't recall. You seem to clearly remember it the same way. Oh, you? I get it. Means that Under a stupid reason? So now that we know you're just you just use that as an excuse for the shipping fuel. For a fact, that really is Al bonded in there. I pulled you out, Al. I actually did it. I know it was only your soul, but that's just it. Hmm. If I was able to pull that much of you you're, out, you're going game theorist on us now. Still in there, and I can pull it out. You think my body's still in the portal, existing separately? From hey, you want to know what this guy and Mac I have in common? I they can be obnoxious. Body. Right. What did you see? Try to think back. Can you remember what happened when the truth unraveled you? The truth within the truth within the truth within the truth. I reached out. Ugh. 
And it was me. It was my hand I grabbed. <sighs> I knew it. Doesn't look like we're done with the truth yet, Al. We're gonna get in there and pull your body out. Brother. Uh, I don't think Rap would like that. And the portal. This. I remember looking at you from inside that thing. The thing we thought was Mom. You were inside of it? <laughs> the thing was you? I guess so. But my soul didn't bind. It must have rejected me right away. That? So that means that's disturbing and what you call a weird roller coaster ride. What now? Mr. Elric, you have a telephone call from his hey, Zoe. I did some research. Hmm? Sig and I looked up our family lines. And well, the child that I transmuted, it couldn't. It didn't have a single physical trait that could have come from us. You're onto something, aren't you? Yes. yes. I've come ah. to the conclusion that death is permanent. Uh. So not even transmutation can change that fact. Uh, unless the 03 one counts. This time, I thought that I must have missed something. But it was impossible to do in the first place. Aww. Ed. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Well, at least she's not gonna kill him. So what did teacher have to say? Well, I'm not really sure why. She said, thank you. Hmm. Al? This entire time, I've been blaming myself for what happened. I thought it was me. I thought I was the one who killed Mom a second time. And so did I. Hmm? Thanks, brother. Thank you. I wasn't the one who killed mom after all. Um. Izumi. I feel like I've been brought back to life. Our child wasn't made to suffer twice because of me. Um. Okay. Still. That's just maybe even. That just made me kind of confused when I heard this the first time. And I'm still confused of what the heck. Giovanni, if you're basically Rick, watching this, so feel free to leave a comment below of what the heck this is all meaning. I can't watch you Seriously, like she's a really good info giver. On your own. I can't just stand back and watch other people get hurt over what I've done. Yes. Like what happened to Mr. Hughes. I felt like it was hey, if you basically don't want to end up like him, just and I told be sure that not to get yourself too nosy in a lot of things. That back. way, you won't have to worry about getting into so much trouble. Or run into those homunculi. Brother, On second thought, if you run into that palm tree guy, exactly you'll human. feel free they to. They manage to live their lives with a purpose. Yes. And in this body, it hasn't stopped other people from treating me like I'm still human. This body could reject me any time, but it's the same- At least in this version, they at least have allies, but jeez, they gain a lot of allies in this anime- in this version. I can live a somewhat normal life, and that's how I've managed to keep going. But now, I can't take it anymore. Because, I can't- I can't take all the nights by myself. Aww. It's too lonely, and that's why I have to get back to normal. Okay, if the song Brothers was playing in this version, I would actually take it a bit more serious. Uh, you do realize that Raz can literally hear you, like, Hey, will you pretty much keep it down down there? Otherwise, I'll have to take another of your limbs. Huh? Henry? Oh my dang! Oh my! Always been so broad. Uh, no, he's been working out. What do you think? Okay, so that was the end with well, a shipping fuel again. Really pleasing to the Edwin fans, huh? Anime. But anyways, um, pretty much like I said, this episode felt more like a grave robbing in search of knowing about the truth and then figuring out how to way that it is possible for Ed and Al to get their bodies restored. 
And it was actually nice to see Izumi again. And they plan to uh, do pretty much anything they can and what would be possible. And the fact that they have supporters and allies definitely is a uh, major plus. So yeah, um, I will see you all in the next episode. Hopefully we'll see what will basically be in store. So, ciao, ciao.